We're here to balance and engineer plastic manifold. This manifold here happens to be clear for training purposes. The one you'll receive out in the field is black. What we're looking at here is that we've purged the system of air and also filled it with water. We fully open each one of these visual flow meters and what we've done here is started the circulator. Now the point here is this loop has the worst flow which means the longest loop. What we have to do now is make an adjustment to the rest of the loop so that they look to the circulator as the longest loop, so you give them a false head resistance to flow. Righty tighty lefty loosey, as I make this adjustment, what I want to do is have even flow across the manifold. Because flow is also determination of your GP of your uh, B2 output, the GPM itself, using the universal hydronic formula, will denote your output. Once I've made this adjustment across the manifold, I have a couple options I can do. One is, I can say, okay, is this all one zone or am I looking at several zones? We'll break this up into two zones. Say the first three are on one zone and the other three loops are on another zone. What I can do, based on your BT requirement at that point, is separate them as far as gallons per minute to denote their output. Once they're locked in and everything's set, I then have the option of taking this outer ring and locking it right in place. So now my set point is locked right in. So the flow at that point, I can purge, I can balance, I can add an actuator, but I'm not gonna change its flow position.